Hi, dear crypto investors. The VIX index, known as the Greed and Fear Barometer, recovered to the neutral mark of the last month. It is the small upside for the crypto market in turbulent times. On the whole, crypto assets are going through a tough period. The top 10 cryptocurrencies finished the week from October 5th to 11th in the red. However, there are exceptions, like in any rule. One of the main catalysts of sell-offs in the crypto market remains the same – the prospects of the Federal Reserve's monetary policy and global risk aversion. The outflow of investments to safe haven assets, in particular the US dollar and gold, gathered pace especially on the back of hostilities in the Middle East. On the other hand, markets got to no comments of several Fed policymakers this week. All of them advocated for more cautious actions with the funds rate. So their remarks were perceived as dovish. Nevertheless, it was not enough to give impetus to a rally in cryptocurrencies. The producer price index released yesterday showed that U.S. factor inflation accelerated faster than expected. In other words, analysts do not rule out the risk of a recession in the world's top economy. In light of the mixed data, the U.S. dollar index lost its footing against six major currencies. The index closed yesterday, consolidating in a narrow range between 105.6 and 105.9. Oddly, popular crypto assets could not take advantage of the US dollar's weakness to increase their market quotes. The thing is that the crypto market commonly thrives when money supply expands in the economy and investors share their risk on mood. At present, none of these conditions is present. Nevertheless, experts suggest, suggest that Bitcoin is worthy of attention. It is acknowledged to be the safest, decentralized and popular token in the world. The flagship crypto enjoys the most beneficial legal conditions. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission does not question Bitcoin's status of a crypto asset. Besides, the U.S. regulator is likely to green light spot Bitcoin ETFs in the near future. This event will be a powerful catalyst for rally of the number one crypto. Meanwhile, Bitcoin holders display robust activity. More than 12,000 tokens have emerged from hibernation since the beginning of the year. Interestingly, a part of them is very old, dating back to 2012-13. It is believed that activity of old wallets is a bad omen. Perhaps the owners are going to sell their tokens. At the same time, a crypto whale who woke up this week after a six-year-long inactivity just transferred his 3,000 tokens to the new address. On the contrary, the number one of bitcoins kept for a long time increased at a pace of 100,000 per month. As a result, holders have amassed the number of tokens in their wallets to a new record high. Besides, indicators of the on-chain activity within Bitcoin blockchain have grown to the levels of the bulls market. According to Blockware Solutions, roughly 550,000 new addresses have been created daily in blockchain in the last 30 days. Nevertheless, these positive prospects have a minor impact on the value of the main cryptocurrency. Bitcoin has slipped by 1.7% in the last seven days. As we see on the chart, the price failed to settle above the psychological resistance level of 28,000. On Wednesday, October 11th, the token closed the trading day at about 26,610. So the number one crypto remains vulnerable. Until we see its consolidation above the resistance area of 28,000, the price is expected to test 25,000 again and go down. The second largest cryptocurrency in the terms of market value looks dismal. Ether came under selling pressure this week. The token has lost 4.5% in the last seven days and has become the worst performer among the top 10 crypto assets. As a result, Ether tumbled to 1,553 from its highest level of 1,655 recorded on October 7th. 
The thing is that if the Ethereum Foundation dealing with development of the application sold more than 1,700 tokens on October 9th, Perhaps the company sells off its crypto holdings to gain profit. Logically, Ether's market quotes will lose in value after a while. In addition, crypto traders took notice that whales have been actively selling Ether. There is another factor to put pressure on Ether's price that could set the stage for its sharper fall. The on-chain activity was so weak that a commission rate was set at $1.13. Experts say that it is low commissions that will attract new users to Ether blockchain. This, is in turn, this in turn will help the token assert its strength. Another argument is that crypto market participants still consider Ether one of the most gainful assets for investments. The native token of Ripple Labs still has to wait indefinitely until better times. The number of daily transactions within its blockchain dropped to a one-year low. Ripple's price has slumped by 8.7% for the last week. A sharp decrease in transactions commonly indicates waning popularity of blockchain or the bearish sentiment among market, market participants. In any case, Ripple's market quotes have been sliding steadily since a spike in July. The bear trend is set to continue next week. All in all, the token has fallen from resistance at 0.537 to support at 0.48 for the last seven days. Hence, Ripple is expected to retest 0.45 in the near future. Still, crypto whales seem to believe in Ripple. Indeed, they expanded their holdings in Ripple by 50 million tokens from October 3rd to 10th. So, their holdings rose to the highest level in three months. High demand from a large market players could stall a fall in market quotes and enhance confidence in the asset among retail investors. There are rumors that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission could terminate the proceedings against Ripple Labs. On the plus side, the Bank for International Settlements added the token to its cross-border payments task force. This decision is certainly a tailwind for the company, but Ripple's value has not benefited from it yet. Solana also could not avoid negative changes. Last week, the token was the best performer. However, its price has plunged by nearly 6% for the last week. Like other cryptocurrencies, Solana stuck to the lower border in the range of 24.1, 21.7 and then entered a consolidation stage. By the way, this week, the Solana development team announced the network update to 1.16. It significantly softens the RAM requirements for validators hardware and allows them for confidential transactions. Let's see how this will influence the coin's dynamic in the future. Trust Wallet is declared the winner of last week. The token has surged from support at 0.81 to resistance at uh, 1.06 for the last seven days. The price has rallied f by whooping 14.7%. This dynamic is standing on the back of a global 3% drop in the crypto market. Let me remind you that Trust Wallet is an open source and multi coin crypto wallet supporting Ether and Ether based tokens as well as other blockchain. To drop up the price, the emission of the Trust Wallet token was cut from 90 billion to 1 billion. The project is linked to the Binance crypto platform. It is likely to prove its merits. Advantages of the crypto market have not been explored in full yet. Cryptocurrencies frequently spring pleasant surprises and catch investors off guard with their twists. The bottom line is to keep close tabs on market developments. Our weekly review is over. Welcome to leave your comments, questions and any feedback. See you online in a week on October 19th. Don't miss it.